I began moving back cloth way back in in 1994 95 but it's an inspiration that grew and kept on developing with an affiliation with my environment appreciating it and wanting to get an identity wanting to get an identity of a cloth that can say much about where I belong and that is unique and different from what is on the, the market of art and craft. It's one fabric in Uganda that is, identif that is identified with Uganda, back cloth. The, well, you can find back cloth in, some, in Central America, you can find it in, in, in West Africa, but it's also different and Ugandans is quite unique from the Ficus natalensis and it's very famous and because it's goes it also has a history it's been a cloth it, it was what it was the first cloth for man to cover their bodies you know with the coming of foreigners who brought in cotton and every other thing but back cloth was there and all cultural and all cultural material especially in Buganda where it's where it is where it is found you know, back cloth is the fabric used as a, you know to divide rooms in 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 a house to to furnish houses, to a uh, garb, cultural garb, um, ceremonial garb. It was back because it was readily available. The trees would grow widely, and they realized that actually they have that good material, and so they started even planting them. So it became famous. So it became an identity. The patterns that we, we choose to use, have also, they also have a story, a cultural story, something you know, similar to the back. That, that wall hanging, it has got the, the Kasuri tombs, that is Buganda's burial ground. It's got the emblem, the Buganda emblem, and uh, the shield and, and the lion in it. Now you can imagine, that is a complete story of, of Afghanda culture. Hmm? On back cloth. What mood do you want? <laughs>